and welcome! I'm taking a very quick break from uploading StarCraft things, as in just one day. Um, and I'm going to have more mission stuff and maybe a couple of tutorials coming up soon. But it just occurred to me that the new Hearthstone expansion is being released. And I have like a decent amount of gold, so that's 68 packs. And I mean, that's quite a ridiculous number of, of packs, considering I haven't actually bought any. <laughs> Plus I get like five just for doing t tavern balls and things. So I mean, people like watching pack openings and it's the first day. So, you know, let's, let's have a go. And I don't know what that button does actually. Ooh, it, it makes the game lag. Oh, sweet. That's a cute looking mammoth one. Look at that. Aw, sweet. Right. I think I get a sh Last two years. Okay. That, or, okay. Okay, yeah, I, I remember. I remember writing about this. I never really used Sylvanas that much, anyway, because that's. I don't know. Um, I used Ragnaros a bit, and I used Joe Drake in like every deck, but that's probably why it's been removed. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet! That's a lot of money. Five thousand four hundred and twenty. Love it. Okay, special quest. Win ten games in standard play mode. Might do that at some point. You have no standard decks? Oh shit, get, no, get out of my shed, boy, get out of my shed. Okay, right, um, it's happened brawl as well. God, it's all going on. Right. I've got eight packs here. Let's get some more. Alright, latest expansion. Don't, let's just not accidentally get eight, 68 classic packs. I'll probably get that last faceless manipulator that I still don't have, but, you know. Let's, let's not do that. Do I actually have to click it? <laughs> I have to click this 68 times. Am I? Is there really not another way of doing that yet? Oh shit, you can't do that. Oh wait, this is awkward. Should remix this, the sounds. It's got a nice little march going. I would not be surprised if you skipped ahead, man. I completely understand it. Completely understand it. I don't. I'm getting quite efficient with these clicks, though, so, you know, it's not too bad. And my mouse sensitivity is wicked high, so I can only move my hands slightly to do this. Can I just. Oh, fuck's sake. I guess it's important so people don't actually click, accidentally click it like 50 times and then buy shit, shit more packs than they were expecting. That could be remedied by like having a refund button though, so I don't know. There we go, we got packs and shit, we got 76 of them. So let's start, let's just jump in there man, let's just, let's just do it. Let's go ahead and do that thing. Alright, let's just take this stuff in, right. Add a beast to your hand. Standard. Seems nice. Um, if, you, if you're running beasts, aggressive beasts, you want a little dude. Uh, I think that just generally seems handy. Okay, three. Uh, that's pretty sick. If you're using control warlock, so hand lock, maybe that would be pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. <laughs> I'm just going to be really complimentary to all these cards. <laughs> maybe they'll get, give me nicer things. Oh shit, I got two of those. Lucky me. I'm sure I won't get another 50 of them. Corrupt every minion. <laughs> Destroy them at the end of the, the start of the next turn. So if... For people who don't know what corrupt is, you think that would be a key word, right? That's, I feel like that's a bit of a slip up there. That should be in bold so you can know what it means. So everything... It does have the... Yeah. If you're going to say corrupt... Ah, maybe it's right. <laughs> I'm just being overly picky. <laughs> the the Fragile Soul 3 damage to every minion. 
So a random minion, okay. Um Okay. If you if it's only your opponent with minions, I mean that seems sounds pretty ha handy. Not very good though. I mean I I, I doubt we'll ever see anyone use it. Adapt your silver hand recruits, that's pretty sick. I'd like to see silver hand recruits decks as a sort of a thing. That'd be really cool. Summon two, one one silver hand recruits. Okay. So I, I like to see this as a thing. I don't know how unlikely it is, but you know. Discover a secret? That sounds really cool, actually. It's like um sort of like uh the one Oh, what was it called? There was a one which there was a death threat. I'll put a secret from your deck into play. It's a bit like that. That's pretty cool. Add two one. Okay. Add two one one two elementals to your hand. Sounds sounds handy. I mean, I'm not really impressed with anything so far. Like particularly impressed, except maybe that that warlock tar thing. Discover a spell and cast it with the random targets. Okay, cast it with random. Okay. Um. Again, it's very conditional, not very. Com I don't know, this doesn't seem very impressive. Add two. Spells to your hand that deal one damage. That sounds amazing! Holy shit! Okay, wait a minute. If you play Discover Elemental, I don't know how good Elementals are, so that could be really good. Discovering Elemental seems. That just discovering as an ability tends to be really useful. Like, um, Dragon is operative was, was pretty sick. But, that's so good! Think of all the combos you can do with that. Holy shit, I bet they're, they're probably one cost, aren't they? That's so sick. So for like it's for seven mana, seven mana you can play this, the two razor pearls, and then um, Edwin Edwin Van Cleef or whatever it's called, and you get plus six plus six. That's pretty sick. Pretty impressed. That rig's pro thing's probably my favourite now. Nah, that other thing was still pretty good. Nah, I like that more. Your spells cost one less. Okay. Two, three, they're good stats. Like, you want to keep something like that alive, right? With effects like that. It's better than three, two stats, unless you're being a beef, like a. Unless you're being an aggro mage. The three, two uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Destroy a friendly minion and adapt to adapt twice. I have no idea how good that is. Like, no idea. It's, it's a Warlock Beast as well, which is strange. After this minion attacks a hero adapt? That could be good. Depends if has got taunts. <laughs> that's a really aggressive sort of beastly deck, and that's that's handy. Yeah, adapt a friendly minion. Uh, that's quite ordinary. Quite ordinary stuff here. I'm feeling a legendary now. I feel like it should come. Nice to see. Adapt your druids. I mean, your minions, the druid. Uh, like, it's pretty good. I think token token druid could be a proper good thing with this. Um. Like adapting the little one ones is like if if you summon a bunch of one ones a turn and then adapt them all, that's pretty sick. So I can mean giving them all extra health. You could have quite a beefy looking board there. Deal two damage out of the one two to your hand. Seems ordinary. Dark cry adapt. There's some just quite beefy looking dinos in this, you know. Two raid spells to your hand. Oh shit, yeah. Another one of those. Add a raid spell to your hand. Yeah, well, the combo druid's really good, it seems. It seems like really good stuff. Unless Razor Pearls aren't actually a spell, like I'm thinking, and they're actually minions. They're doing one damage. It must be a... must be a spell, mustn't it? Oh, what we got here? That's... Oh, oh, that's a beefy one. Oh. I don't... I can't see that being used very much at high level play, but I think I feel like that's a definite one. If you can't get the can't get super sexy legendaries, restore to three health uh, elements. Like I mean, Shaman does have struggle restoring health sometimes, with the exception of that. Four cost, restore six health, and this is taunt as well. So that seems pretty sick. Um. I've seen. After this minion attacks, freeze it. Six eight eight. Uh, it seems pretty useless, really, unless it's in some sort of silence deck. In which case, it's in a silence deck, so it's probably still useless. 
<laughs> Summon three one one raps for your opponent. Uh, I don't know. I think I like dirty rap more. But it, I have got it as golden golden rare, so I probably should use it. Dirty rap's pretty sick because you cancel out all the battle cry stuff. You really fuck over your opponent with that. Whereas that, I don't know. I don't know. Ultrasaur seven fourteen. Shit, this is probably the biggest minion you can. I think that's the biggest minion ever made, right? 12 12 is probably the highest. So 14 stat is. Oh, maybe I'm forgetting something. I feel like 14 stats is the highest stat made. So that's really sick. Again, I can't but I can't really see it being used that much unless your lower level can't get some fancy legendaries of good good effects. I dunno. Another one of those guys, that's good. Okay, just game foam armor? That seems pretty handy. I don't know if you Use it in addition to a uh, shield block. I don't know how much that would be used. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. The uh, problem is I haven't really seen anything apart from maybe that warlock card, the tar thing. I don't feel like I've seen very much that I actually use. Discover a secret. You can make secret decks. That's fun. Freeze an enemy. Uh, trigger a friend. Really use death rattle. Was curious. So I don't know how good death rattle minions are. Ooh, the next spell cost costs health instead of mana. Uh, see, this is this again the sort of thing I have no idea how good that's going to be because it depends on the the meta game. But potentially really good. Um, if you're super aggro warlock, but why would you have such? Why would you have big spells where it's such a big benefit? You paying with it, paying for those spells with health instead of mana, in a deck which is aggro. So you'd sort of want to do that, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know, um, I, I guess like Control Warlock might want to do that, but then they sort of value their health a bit more. Uh, I don't know. If you played anyone else last turn, Taunt and Divine Shield, that's pretty sick. 3-5 Taunt and Divine Shield. That's pretty good, yeah. I don't know, I feel like Elementals are might, definitely something that I'd want to play, because these cards seem pretty sick. Quite a few of them. I mean, I just like Shaman a lot as well because it's just a fun class. What we got here? Cloud Surge, do four, restore four. Nice. See, so some some health that I was talking about before. Each turn is transforming into a new weapon. Nice. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's going to be something like this is going to be played. Like there was um, Shifter, something, Shifter Zerus or something. Which is the same thing, but for minions, I can't see it being used, really. It's a new weapon. Oh, I, just, I don't know. If you want it to transform into like an epic weapon, you could have just run the epic weapon sort of thing. I don't know. It's it's weird. I, I can't see it being used very much. That one. Um, just taking that into your hand. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because priest has um. It could be good, just just like one drops which give you a card, like whether the discover or anything. They they used to be quite handy for presents early on, and to just stock up your hand and stuff. When um, the inconsistency of getting things from your opponent's deck instead of your deck, like I'm, I'm I tend to not be a fan of too much, but it depends how you're gonna use it. Like sometimes you, you might, there might be a bit more synergy in this set. I haven't properly studied the cards that are in it really. That's that's insane that one. Five eleven, Tar Lord. That, that's a bit of a monster. It's like this is a really big control warrior card, so I don't know, maybe that's coming back a bit. Control warrior, seeing as the, the dinos seem to be warrior cards as well. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. Discover. Whoa. That's insane. Look, it's eight one more. Summon it. Shit. You just bring a Ysera out with that. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. You can pick one which is good for the situation as well, rather than just having an 8 cost in your deck. Uh, trying to conjure. Summon a minion. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Summon a minion for round 5 attack. Things like that don't usually get played. That bring out other things. It itself isn't like a big killer card, and it's a high cost, if you see what I mean. Um, so, like, there was the Deathwing Dragon Lord. Understanding that was like 10 cost, but these sort of things don't seem to get much play. 
Maybe not. Discover draw a secret from your deck. That's that's useful, yeah. I like that one. Draw a secret from your deck. Just, just draw a card. Just draw it's a two cost draw a card. And it's draw a card which will be useful in your next turn if you play it on turn two. So it's, it's yeah, it's really good. I like that one. Um Storm Watcher is four eighth Wind Fury. Which is really interesting actually, because um I've been using a like beat stick, like big chunky Wind Fury Shaman a lot. I'm winning quite a bit. And I got to rank was it rank seven? Some some rank. I think I got quite reasonably reasonable ranks. The one which is top five percent of the server that that rank. But with with just like big the big beefy ones. So like um, the seven seven four cost elemental. Well, the names like under pressure. Yeah, I know not really under pressure, but talking. Um, it's for a video. I really can't think as well. But I can't, so I can't really remember any names. But the 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 four cost seven seven elemental. I was using that and just giving that wind fury with the two cost wind fury and just hitting for fourteen damage and that does work a lot. That works really well. And I had um, Leroy Jenkins in there as well. So things like this, just things which already have wind fury. I'm only going to stick around for a long time with eight cost. I think there's a potential for things like this because you can you can give them stats. You can give them um, give them additional stats with. Flame Tongue Totem and stuff, and you can hit your opponent for a lot. It's really hard for them to clear as well. That's really good stats. But, I don't know, I still can't see it being used very much. Sadly. Even though it's a really cool card. Death Rattle will go for a minimum one. So this is nice. This is like, um, Priest of the Feast. It's like... Which which restores your health. And this is a, a similar to that. Similar sort of stats. So it has Taunt, so you don't really have to worry about casting their spells to get your energy back. You're effectively gaining health by sort of sacrificing this dude to save you six points of damage by forcing him to attack it. Um, and it has this bonus effect. So I, like that. I, like that. I can imagine that being used a bit more than the Wind Fury dude sadly. We got here? Give your weapons poisonous. Give your weapon poisonous. Oh sweet, yeah, so poisonous. I like the way they've given that attack. Because that's quite a common one. It's true. Yeah. Okay. That seems useful. Yeah. But then the thing is, the thing is, you'd want when you'd want to give um, your weapon poisonous is when um, you've got a big enemy minion, possibly with quite a high attack, likely to have a really high attack. So I mean, that means you're going to have to charge your hero into a guy with a high attack. So you're going to take quite a bit of damage just to kill it off. So I don't know how useful that'll be and how much it'll be used. Depends. Maybe if it's against things with low attacks and high healths, then that's going to be perfect. But that doesn't happen as much. So I, I don't know. Give a friendly Murloc plus one plus one. Uh, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> it's very ordinary. <laughs> Tap to friendly beast. That seems cool. So these these stats are quite good. Like two two three three two stats are just quite nice. Um, and the the adaptability is really nice, and the synergy among all the beasts seems really good as well. So yeah, I don't know, that might be a good thing. Just like a standard thing to throw in there. If you control these two other minions adapt. Uh, I don't know, there's, there's too many other options now. <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to be used, but we'll see. Destroy a friendly minion and adapt to adapt to so I've seen that one. Old! Oh lord. What else we got? This is a new one. No, it hasn't. Nope. Nothing's new. That's so cool looking. Holy shit, I really want to use this now. I'm going to throw this in my shaman deck now. Adapt. You also have recruits. Yeah, some. Ah, uh, yeah, I got that one. Corrupted Mist. I think that was one I hadn't seen before. Ah, we'll probably come up again. <laughs> Ooh, at least the trailblazer. Nice. Good lad. Um, freeze an enemy. Battle cry adapt. So, I can say about the other one, which was like adapt. Two cost, two two, adapt. That might have been good. Um, two six. That's a nice taunter. Like, big stats. 
Um, that's amazing. That's so good. 5-3 stealth, 3-5 taunt. So it's like Senji Shieldmaster with the option, the other option to make this a 5-3 stealth. And then there's the... Um, not sure if it's been removed now. It might be only be in Wild. wild. The, the, the card of a very difficult name to pronounce or remember that lets you do both choosers at the same time. That would make it 5-5 five, five stealth taunt. Um, yeah, that seems a really good one. Like, uh, Druid of the Druid of the Claw. Not used so much now, of course, because, I mean, that sort of Druid isn't really in fashion, but it used to be such a sick card, Druid of the Claw. So, yeah, so I, can, I can see that being a big thing. More Stormwatch is sweet. Add a one, two elemental to your hand. That's nice, isn't it? It's two, two little dudes. <laughs> I mean, it's not super impressive, but you know, two little dudes. It's nice <laughs> for one cost. Um, add. Okay. Yeah, these are really good. These tar things are just like non aggressive control things. Surprised those sort of cards haven't been made before, actually. Only has effects, only has attack in your opponent's turn. For a pirate in game one one. Ooh. See that'd be good against that's obviously good against Pirate Warrior, but like why would you like main deck why would you put that in your deck? Because you're not always gonna be against Pirate Warrior. In fact, I'd say most of the time you're not gonna be against Pirate Warrior. Especially considering the meta's changing. So I can't say that'd be used against Pirate Warrior. If anything, that'd be used to be used with Pirate Warrior to have a three four. So Fifteen damage. Yeah, that's cool. Fifteen damage to minion. Two three to adjacent ones. That's pretty sick. Considering there's a flame lance or whatever, which just deals eight damage. For for five or something? So <laughs> it's a big step up. That's a really sick card. But the thing is, um that's just dealing with a big minion, which is a problem, right? One big minion. Then why wouldn't you just use polymorph in that case? And then you, then you, when you play more, if you get rid of all the death rattle effects and everything as well. So uh, I don't know. The, the side, the adjacent damage just seems to be like a side effect sort of thing. I don't, can't, I can't imagine. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that'd be used really. It's really fun though. What the fuck? I've, do I have any golden legendaries? I'm not even sure. I have to use someone to Oh shit, that's so good. What the fuck? Oh shit, that's so good. Okay, I might have to use that. That's so sick. Trigger its death for effect. Trill every single one. That's mad. Do do damage. Do two damage to me and adjacent ones. That's standard stuff. It's eight two is really nice as well. These are that's a like a killer layers. You give that stealth. Yeah, you you play it and give it stealth. Then Wind Fury on the next turn, 16 damage. Might put that in the Shaman. Ooh. Discard two random cards. Okay. That's cool. I, I think Melchazar's imp still in the game, right? Pretty sure. So that'd be really cool. I like deck. I like decks so that use that. Use that imp. Look at three cards. Guess which one started in your opponent's deck and get a copy of it. Oh, that's so funny. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's so funny. That'd be a pain in the ass against like another priest deck, obviously, as you can tell. Um, interesting. Interesting card. I can imagine it being used. Okay. Uh, I think there's someone at Wombon Murloc. H handy? I... I Guess, but why? We, I, I don't know. That doesn't seem very useful. I just, I just have a Murloc for two two, like a, a two. I mean, another two cost Murloc instead of this, which is a Murloc. Cause it's, it's not even a Murloc. It's a totem. <laughs> like, if it's gonna summon Murlocs, it was helpful for it to be a Murloc itself. Got targets by spells, hero powers. It's nice for one cost. Cause you can't even. Um, this is the sort of card you'd want this effect on, the perfect card for this effect to be on, because your opponent can't uh, fire blast it, can't ping it, can't shoot it with a little thing. It's really nice. 
Stealth poisonous. Let's like destroy any mini damage by this. Ooh. Ooh. That could be helpful. I can see that. I can see that being used. Draw a secret from your deck. I like I like this in gold. This is a good card. I like this. Like I say, it's you draw you're drawing a card which you're sure is gonna be useful on your next turn, so your cards your spell cards cost one less? Yeah. yeah I've, I've seen most of them before now already. Just gonna have to get some more rare ones. Volcano? Ooh. Do fifty damage split across all minions? I'm sure that's a lot of fun, but I can't imagine it being very good. <laughs> uh I don't know. Control Shaman. If you don't have many minions of your own, and you can use it against just your opponent's board. Ah, uh, it could be okay, yeah. Even when you're not in control, if you could use it to just sort of swing it back into your favour. Uh, for five, five cost. Like you can't synergize with the overload, re overload really, because if you have a minion which gets um, attack from overload cards, overload cards, then it's probably going to die to the volcano. So that's sad, but yeah, the volcano could be good. Hmm. Mm. Shuffle a six nine of taunts into that. That's nice. This is what you want in warrior as well. If you give it, that's probably going to cost more, right? The six nine is probably going to cost more than the five. The, the this five cost one, or maybe it will just cost five as well. I should probably look into that. This is the sort of cards you want, like shuffling more cards into your deck so you don't deck out as fast. And the ones you shuffle in are big cards, which are useful in the late game. Like that seems pretty useful. Oh yeah. Swamp King Dread. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. Sounds a bit rude. Seven cost is so nice for those stats as well. To be fair, so yeah, it seems like a good one. Uh, yeah, if you're doing some some sort of control beast, <laughs> some control beast hunter deck. I don't know. <laughs> That's good for because it's not super aggressive. It, it doesn't attack your opponent's face straight away, but it does control the board by just you get like obviously as it says, it's like killing all the things your opponent plays, keeping you alive. Control Hunter is an interesting idea and inconsistent with the hero power. I like that. Yeah, your minions cost two more. Sweet. One. Oh, whoa. Not good for aggressive decks, right? Your minions cost two more is going to fucking cripple you. But I guess board control, if you're playing some sort of control deck. So, I mean, yeah. Everything's pointing towards control warrior here. Um, deal two damage. Four. Lots of elementals. The elementals seem pretty decent as well. I don't know. I can't see that one being very good though. <laughs> just cover the st it's just mainly the stats like um, uh, fire elemental 6 5 for, for 6. The stats are so good. And um, this one isn't such nice stats. I don't know. Uh, discover a minion. Discover a taunt minion. Interesting. Like it's the taunt itself? Like, you could use it with, what's that one, Bolster? I think it's Bolster, something with just like, give all your taunts 2-2. Two, two. I tr played around with making taunt decks, but uh, I don't know. They didn't seem very good. Hopefully now they uh, Discover a card from your opponent's class. So nice. That's fun. But like I said, like, all those all those cards which are discarding cards from your opponent's deck, none of those cards you discover are synergized with your own deck a lot. So if there's more synergy, Added in the set, maybe it's good. Taunt poisonous. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you want taunt on a poisonous minion. It's nice forcing your opponent to attack the poisonous thing, but like having the minion of stealth, like the rogue, the rogue uh, poisonous with stealth, and that's much more better because then you can sort of have control, a bit more control over who you're attacking and killing. Attack. Give him a Ooh, ooh yes. Ooh. Uh, that's nice. Give all of your minions as well. Returning to minions to your hand. Yeah, like as the picture indicates, that's very good for, for Murlocs. 
and you get the battle cries and stuff as well. That's pretty sick. So, I guess it's sort of similar to. <laughs> I'm gonna say the one again because I can't remember any names. There's <laughs> the uh, there's a as two costs spec shaman card, which is death Frassel, resummon this minion. Um, so I guess it's a bit similar to that, but this is more interesting in that you get the get all the battle cries and stuff again. Mirage Cooler. Here's a friend you mean someone will want a copy of it. Um, so you just cast it on something with Death Wrestle, I guess. Ah, sorry. I guess I'm sorry. Uh, you have to. A lot of these things you have to see the meta game before you can judge. God, he cried a bit, didn't he? Destroy all damage minions. Oh, this shit, Control Warrior looks so good. Uh, whirlwind for one, drop this, just kill everything. Holy shit, that's a good card. Okay, I think I'm gonna play Control Warrior to be honest. Some three one one Murlocs. Death Rattle. <laughs> These are very ordinary. <laughs> I like that golden one. Okay. Oh, we got. She's a friendly minion copy. Some a copy of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should play the Nelson last time. I really want to play the Nelson as well. Look at that. Taunts and Divine Shield. Yeah, that's the one they had before. There's a friendly minion someone copy of it. There's lots of effects like this, isn't there? I'm seeing a bit of a trend here. So Death Rattle might be in, might be in fashion. Got another one. There we go. There's the counterpart. Reduce the cost of elements to hand by one. <sighs> More synergy. So control warrior, elementals, two big targets. Shuffle a 4-3 Rapture into your deck. That's nice, isn't it? 4-3. Depends on the cost though. It doesn't tell you the cost. If it's a 4-3 Raptor to a 4, then that'd be pretty shitty. But I, I don't know, it might be two costs or then that wouldn't be too bad. Or even one cost. Oh yeah. Fire Plumes Heart Quest. Play seven taunt minions. Sulfurus. I'll probably have to find that. Not sure who that is. I'll, I'll look it up later. Sulfurus. I'll just. In fact, I'm just going to search it on my phone. Sulfurus. Okay. Nothing special, nothing new. Restore 5 health to your minion, okay. So that's just, that's 10 health for one cost, which is pretty insane. But then when you think about it, um... Um, you'd often want to combo this with Soul Priest, and that would mean you're dealing 5 damage to your hero when you cast this, instead of like with a uh, Flash Heal, which just restored 5 health. So it, it could, I don't know, in the situations where you probably normally use it, I feel like it's worse. But I guess if it's just, just purely for the healing, this is good. Just cost it not to okay. Sulfurus is a 2 6 weapon. Your hero power becomes 8 deal, deal 8 damage to a random enemy when when it when you run out of when you run out of durability. It's just a death rass, I'm not sure I word it with it like that. But yeah, you become Ragnaros basically. So that's pretty interesting. Nice mechanics then. Which is particularly useful if you've got a taunty deck. I guess, because you're sitting behind all the taunts and Ragnarossing a flying. We've played the Nelson last time to 5 damage. So that's insane, what? 5, that's so good! And the stats are nice as well, I like this. See, see, gonna make an elemental deck. Like, no stopping me now.
more taunts. Two of the minions can taunt. Uh, interesting. It's like in a taunt deck, you wouldn't have board presence, really, would you? Because you'd have singular big taunts. So it might be a struggle to have two, at least two minions before you play it. So it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know how much I like it. You mean two six and taunt when it dies soon? Oh, oh, that's so big. That makes things so big. No idea how much that would be used like at all. <laughs> Can't even predict. Depends how controlling Paladin decks become. Really hammering through him now. Ultra Sword. Uh. Poisons. Yep. Oh, that was a. Uh, that was a no one. Never mind. <laughs> I'm rushing a bit much. So, summon three more Murlocs. Do one damage to each hero. Aggro, nice. And a battle cry instead of a death rattle. Feeding time. Do three damage to a minion. Summon three. Ooh. No, sorry. Good. <laughs> There is one which does summon Raptors, which is, I guess, very useful for Token Druid. One common player almost lost him adapt. Two. <laughs> the animation is so good. Um, nothing's new though, is it? Set on copies of your damage minions. That's interesting. Again, well, when damage them yourself and then suddenly you copies of them. Very useful. I don't know how much how useful it's going to be though. I don't know if I might rather just have one big, a big big dude instead of this. Another big dude. It's in this sort of situation, so it's good when you're already in a good spot. If you see what I mean. You can play this when you've already got a nice board. So I might I might as well have cards which put you in this position with the good board rather than things which sort of emphasize how good your board already is sort of thing, I don't know. Um, nice, nice. Good for buffing. Draw a card and add a copy to your hand. Like this will see. I could, could see you sitting slower cost as well. And this will see. So more likely to be used. Ooh, yes. Yes, this is the sort of thing I actually needed. If you play an elemental last time, some two. Ooh, that's really nice. Very controlling. So that's. 4 6. That's 8 10 worth of stats for 7. In 3 minions as well. So, yeah, it seems really good. I think I'll definitely use that. I don't know, maybe just your hand. Then I'm just gonna discover another one. Yeah, I'm gonna use all these. Yeah, down. Yes. Some two on the. I like this because. You sort of want it to die, so the lower cost, the low health, sort of works in your favour. And having this little three attack here, so a little bit of damage as well, it's quite nice. Mm. Just go, if you control the melt, discover a melt. If you can discover a legendary, that'd be nice. Cost one for each card you play from another class. Some synergy, like, like I was saying before, but I don't know how good <laughs> it doesn't seem that good. <laughs> it is a bit of synergy there with copying cards from your opponent's deck. I 
lost a golden one, didn't I? Yeah, that's, that's amazing, that thing. I do wish you could. <laughs> Maybe there is a busy option, I'm not even sure of it. Maybe there is. I remember in that, um, what was it? Dreamhack game, and Peter, someone on someone's friend list sent, sent them what was in their opponent's hand. Someone around a menu that you discarded this game. Oh, that's sick. I don't know, it doesn't seem very usable, but it's a lot of fun though. That sounds like a lot of fun. Good stats as well, I guess. Reasonable stats. It doesn't seem particularly good though, but it seems like a lot of fun. Ooh. Getting through them now. Not much new stuff. Hopefully one more legendary. Primordial, oh, this is a nice one. Deal two damage to all of the minions. Yeah, and good stats and taunt. That's the ultimate sort of control card there. So, yeah, I mean, control. I, I might call Control Warrior as like a super good deck again now. And they have the plus five armor card now as well. But that doesn't seem too useful because you don't actually draw a card to like shield block. Adapt, then adapt. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Seeing as everything's adapting, like, silence is going to be really good. Play four minions of the same name, reward crystal core. Crystal core. Four minions of the same name. Uh, it's just possibly just bounce everything, bounce the same thing lots of times. It seems like a tricky one to do though. And it's, it's it seems like to do it, you're gonna have to make a few plays which are suboptimal, really. <laughs> to say the least, suboptimal is maybe Maybe a nice way of saying it. Crystal Core. Okay, Crystal Core is all your minions become 5-5s. Five I don't know. That doesn't seem that great. Each time a beast is played, add a random beast. Oh, that's so good. Wait, each time a beast is played, add a random beast. So you just cycle it through. So you play this. Imagine if you have 10 mana. It's probably not going to be the time you're going to be playing it, but still. Just play 1 mana. A 1-1 one, one beast. <laughs> and you've got... Eight mana of beasts just popping out onto the field. That sounds fun. Um, living mana. Uh, I have no idea. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's better the later into the game you are. Aggressive, ag aggression wise. I have no idea how aggressive Druid decks are going to be, so we'll see. Like, I, I, the thing Day9 mentions is you can innovate into this. And then get a permanent, make those two mana permanent. But I'm not sure if the, if the interaction is actually going to work that way. Last one. Oh, is it going to be a special one though? No, not at all. Well, I got a few legendaries, and I'm probably I probably have enough to make a probably have enough to make a control warrior deck, and plus all that dust I got before dust. 1400 more dust. I feel like this is enough dust to make a deck, right? Let's uh let's let's kill let's kill Hurty. <laughs> Such weird names. Rushy boys, thieves and shit. Freezy boys. <laughs> Freezy boys is that's a great deck, man. That's a bit of creativity in that one.
Oh, this isn't sort of what I was hoping. I was hoping this would be a control deck. Ah, never mind. Yeah, I hope you like that. I opened some packs. That's all I promised. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Goodbye.